What are epithelial cells in urine? Have you ever wondered what those epithelial cells in urine actually mean? Let's break it down in a way that's easy to understand. Epithelial cells are the cells that line the surfaces and cavities of our body, including the urinary tract. When we perform a urinalysis, we often find these cells in urine samples. But what does their presence really indicate? There are three main types of epithelial cells that can show up in urine. First, we have squamous epithelial cells. These are large and flat cells that come from the lower part of the urethra and the outer genital area. If you see these in a urine sample, it might suggest that the sample was contaminated. This is especially true if the sample wasn't collected using a clean technique. Next, we have transitional epithelial cells. These cells line the bladder and the upper part of the urethra. Sometimes, they are referred to as urothelial cells. Finding these in urine can indicate irritation or infection in the bladder or upper urinary tract. It's important to pay attention to these cells during urinalysis. The third type is renal tubular epithelial cells. These cells come from the tubules in the kidneys, which play a key role in filtering blood and forming urine. If you find these cells in urine, it could be a sign of kidney injury or disease. Now, a small number of epithelial cells in urine is normal. However, if there are a high number of these cells, or if certain types like renal tubular cells are present, it could signal underlying health issues. These issues might include urinary tract infections or kidney problems. In nursing practice, Understanding epithelial cells in urine is essential for interpreting urinalysis results. Nurses are often the ones who collect urine samples, and they need to ensure proper technique to minimize contamination. When reviewing results, nurses look closely at the type and number of epithelial cells. This helps them identify possible infections or kidney issues. If unusual results are found, Nurses communicate these findings to the healthcare team. They also play a role in educating patients about what the results mean and what steps to take next. This could include repeat testing or further evaluation. Practical nursing applications also involve instructing patients on how to provide a clean catch urine sample. Recognizing when results may indicate contamination is key. This knowledge supports accurate assessment and timely intervention for patients undergoing genitourinary evaluation. So, the next time you hear about epithelial cells in urine, remember their significance in urinalysis and how they help in assessing a patient's health.